This is the world of Demon Slayer, where 100 players will be trapped in trying to survive. The world is filled with demons, other demon slayers, and even the king of all demons, Muzan. If you could hit that subscribe button, it'll let me make more of these experiments. This is the 100 player Demon Slayer simulation. Our story begins in a small house by the side of a mountain. Seems peaceful enough though, till you realize that this is our player's first encounter with a demon. Or should I say, it's supposed to be. Notable places here are the player's first house, the old man's shack, and the upper mountain where the demons are. They explore the inside of the house to find out that their parents, siblings, and anyone that they cared about was brutally murdered. It was pretty clear a demon did it. Phase one, the recruits. So they set out on an adventure that they would not regret, I think, to become a demon slayer. But everyone knows to become a demon slayer, they need to go through training. And that's exactly what they did. It didn't take our players too long to find a path to the side of the mountain, which revealed a shack owned by some old guy. He had a bit of an attitude though. The players, instead of going to that shack directly, some of them ended up just robbing him of his crops. They're kind of an embarrassing bunch. But if you're starving, I guess there's no bounds to what you do. But the old guy in the shack played a very important role for training the swordsman. He gave everyone a starting weapon, which is known as the bamboo sword. Doesn't look too flashy, but it's pretty decent. And told them that if they slay 10 demons with that bamboo sword, he'd appoint them certified hood clock demon slayers. I, I meant certified demon slayers. Basically, all we have to do is kill 10 demons. I suppose that's easy enough. I hate this guy. Man. This wasn't the only thing that they had to do to earn the demon slayer title. There was also this that was blocking their way. A parkour course, which will be testing their willpower and their sanities. Why do we have to do parkour with demon slayers? When do we ever have to do parkour as demon slayers? What are they going to do? Jump on you? Oh my. As you can see, some swordmen found this place sooner than the others, but they all began flooding in like debt collectors at your house. Now, don't get me wrong. This course wasn't too difficult at all. The reason that we're having such a hard time here is because all 100 of them is there. With this many swordsmen, of course it'd be hard to do a parkour course let alone even see where you're supposed to jump. The platforms were rotating, making some of them very, very dizzy. Others were trying to find ways to cheese their way to the end. But they can try, but most will not succeed. Not on my watch, at least. Wave after wave, they kept failing. It's kind of beautiful. But not before long, people start realizing the strat to getting past this. It's all about timing. And Aweka, one of the swordsmen, managed to get past this part that no one else could. Yes! Aweka! Hey, don't mess this up, bro. And continued on with the course. Shortly after, they all followed the strat Oweka used to get themselves further and further into the course. Some even made it to the second part of the course. And Oweka was the first one to complete the course. He also stumbles upon Tanjiro. These are the swordsmen that are ahead, at least for now. They're able to fight off the demons up here in the mountains and collect the loot that they need to trade with the old man. They started violating the demons, but the demons quickly outnumbered them heavily. So they best be careful because the rest of the demon slayers were stuck in the parkour course Fast forward a bit and most of the swordmen have made it to the second part and they got stuck again because many of the You get the point now that there's more swordmen up here to help out with the fight against the demons The demons do pretty decent damage, but cannot leave the area. So they're like rats in a cage literally Floodgates once again are open. They acquired their first sword They'll be let out into the world to create their civilization soon After after all, we can't just hand these swords out like popcorn. They have to earn it. And if any of you guys are confused or don't know what Demon Slayer is, pause the video and check out the text. After a little while of them whacking demons to the ground, I went back to check up on the old man and there he was with some full-fledged Demon Slayers that had managed to get themselves their swords. Each person was given a sword after they complete the quest, but they end up getting different types of swords based on their personality. So it's all up to chance. It seems Oweka and Tanjiro did manage to meet up again. What a cute little duo. You probably notice one side of the path leads into the mountains, but the other side leads into the farms in the swordsman village. One had already made it over there. His name was Simon. Another was curious about these farms, though I think he's from a different anime. But you know what? We'll let him be. Oweka here thought of an interesting idea. If he killed more demons, he'd get more swords. So you see, he wasn't really happy with the sword that he ended up getting. He ended up with Miss Breathing and a Miss Sword, which he thought was pretty lame. So he started killing off more demons even though he already had a sword.
Discord. Soon, a new partnership was brought up within Blue Team. It was between Melo and Oweka. I think this is gonna go somewhere. Bro, somebody dropped their pants uh, and down. I stole them. No. Uh, what? All right, anyways, Adrian, uh, this is this is my team. This is my gang. And he's not wrong. At the start, they got to choose which squad they wanted to be. It was either squad red or squad blue. These guys just happened to pick blue. <laughs> Slash. Jesus, man, my eardrums. Wait, bro, how are they getting over there? How, actually, how are they getting over there? And the swordsmen were finally prepared for the outside world. This began phase two, the farmlands. Pretty nice, isn't it? So in the farmlands, players are to stack up, build their team civilization, where the winner gets a powerful demon slayer sword, and lastly survive demon attacks. Notable places here are the farms, the village, the Hashira temple, and lastly the spider forest, which will also begin mission one for them. Back to the swordsman though. Yes, it's Zenitsu. He's here to welcome all the new demon slayers, okay? One thing the demon slayers discovered was that the farmlands were infested with giant demons. They began putting their swords and sword skills to work taking them out in a slash well sort of this was more of a long-term thing these guys drop blood samples which you can trade in for better swords or just for better gear back in the swordsman village and of course there's the vandalizers that need food you couldn't just buy some from killing demons you had to go ahead and rob the community here i went to check up on oweka and he met up with tanjiro again holy sh what the hell is this is team tanjiro, for the bro? it's not tanjiro bro. <laughs> hey whatever hey we gotta we gotta Yo. build a team and get good loot all right axolotl tanjiro spitting facts oweka begins gathering members orchestrating a plan to eliminate red once grace period is over it'll be a worldwide witch hunt at that point i decide to check up on the old guy he's coming to the end of his life soon but he gets kidnapped by some of the swordsmen and now he's over here yeah we got a couple kidnappers in this civilization that's great these over here are what i like to call the underperformers they go by many names but they're either stupidly unlucky or just not the most efficient bunch. They're still stuck on the first demon quest. Some of them already have the swords, so I don't know what some of them are really doing there. Yeah, yeah, kill more. If we kill enough, we could probably have a monopoly of swords. To We'd be rich. Ah, so it is a business venture. Look at you guys being smart and stuff. The swordsmen explore the village. Besides the trader, they managed to find some of the loot here and there. And there was this big guy chilling in the village. One of the swordsmen started riding him like he was a donkey. Just when I thought things were getting good, they ended up murdering Zenitsu. You monsters. He was just there to help. Check out some of the other variants of swords that they can get, though. They're pretty sick. Some of the other swordsmen decided to hide out in one of these farmhouses. That's a bit of a strat, but I don't think you'll make a lot of progress in there. There's this guy that's also swimming in dirt. Kind of like a pig. It seems some of them have already began to elect themselves as king or preaching their ideals onto their unsuspecting players. And now began election time. We gave them enough time to convince their fellow swordsmen. So Red gathered up in a shack here to declare who will be the king of red the red was stuck trying to pick between sword and fuego both were given a chance to speak on what they do for the team oh god we have to select our kings the people here suck man they're gonna throw the team was trying to sort their stuff out too over here in the fields while the election was going on sword one of the candidates had come to realize that fuego was starting a bit of a cult and it was based off of bloodshed and tyranny so sword ended up fleeing the scene because he knew he wouldn't get a vote taking the loss of becoming red team's leader then it's blue team's election and they actually had a lot of people wanting to become leader here. A lot more than Reds, too. Once things calmed down a bit, Melo and Oweka were the two main candidates for this election. But as pretty decent leaders, they ended up letting other people speak that wanted a chance as well. Hey, guys, let's have one by one talk, right? We love Oweka! One by one, guys. We can co-lead. Melo, do you think we could actually do that? I think Oweka and Melo. All right, I'll go last. I'll go last. I'll go last. I'll go last. This guy's gonna go first, BA. Yeah, well, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't wanna have fun. Yeah, I've played this much. I just wanna make a good face. Really give everyone good. free food yeah. and just have a great time. So just yeah. vote for whoever you think is best. All right, all right. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do next? next. I'll do next. All right, everyone listen right, up. Go. Let me take off my clothes, okay, first. Yo, what the look at me. Everyone look at me. Everyone listen. Everyone listen. Guys, as your leader. Everyone shut up. Look. As your leader. I would throw myself in front of any demon for you people. 
I would die for you people! I would die for all of you! We do not need someone to die for us, bro. I'll protect all of you! I'll throw my- I'll throw myself! Listen up, my fellow blues. Listen up. We've been called things like A is awesome and B is bad. But I can promise the Reds will be on their knees in battle pause because we will be killing them. You feel me? No more disrespect. The blue's gonna rise. Yeah. We are, we are, we are. Yeah. 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 Alright, from a very young age, bro, my father left me to fight the milk demon. He hasn't come back since. So I'm gonna have to. I want to kill him. And to do that, we have to all unite. Red is red. B, team B is bad. Team A is amazing. Okay. He's literally a cardboard box. Get him off the stage. No, 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 no. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, people. Okay, people. Final selection. Kill tens and hundreds of us when we are weak. But now we are strong. We got our get back. We killed them and we got our. That's murder. He's fighting. But it didn't really give them a realistic chance. What a pitch. Jeez. During all of this, Oweka was begging his mind out, and it kind of worked. All right, if you want to vote for Mel, line up on the left. If you want to vote for Oweka, go to the right. Please! Please, people! Please, people! Over here, guys, no! Please! 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 Guys, please! Over here! Yes! How much does the weka even bench? I bench your body weight! Wait, who's going to He's insulting his people. Mello, you put up a good fight for the spot of king, but worry not. You will be a Weka's queen, ruling by his side. Yes! Man, look at me, kiss me! Ooh, what? I'm 800 pounds. What? I have something to say. I have something to say. Yes, Melo, yes, yeah, speak. You deserve it. Weka, Thank you, Melo. You deserve it. Deserve we, came, we came out the trenches together with the yeah. mist. The yeah. red trenches. Yeah. Oweka, you have been granted the golden Mello. crown. Here, to signify take a pancake. You being the king. And this declared Oweka as the leader. And Oweka ended up declaring Melo as his queen. Yeah, that was a thing that happened. They scoured over the farms, happy that the king and queen of blue we're getting married. Wego, who's been elected as Red Team's leader, has also found himself in the field hacking away at these demons. I guess his people didn't really mind him going out and doing the dirty work. Now that the elections are over, then starts the base building. The reason this is so important is because once night falls, waves of demons will be testing how tough each team's bases are and how tough their swordsmen are. This isn't gonna be an easy one for them. This is the start to Team Blue's base of operations. It's pretty small, but I mean, I could see the potential. The empire they did build will be vast, eventually. All right, let's base a bit far away from the main area. Let's, let's go into the mountains. We could probably create a safe haven for the red team swordsmen then. Then there's red team who took to the mountains since they knew that the flatlands in the middle were taken by blue team. So their journey up the mountain began. This place was no peaceful area either. It was located right in front of the Hashira's temple, which was taken over by demons. And just look, there are some demons hiding under the shade too. Soon the whole red team was there. Okay. This is where we're building, right? I have building blocks and we have someone who's gonna give us more building blocks. We're building into this mountain and building a whole inside cave mountain like base thing with the outside looking really pretty and um, hidden by bamboo around it. And began collecting resources to build up a base of their own. Remember those demons I was just talking about? Well, they began to attack Red Team with no remorse. But the demon slayers held their ground and prepared for anything that got in their way. And this was the progress on Blue Team's base. They're working a lot faster than Red. There were also these hobbit holes. I kind of feel like I walked in on something. Not too soon later, it becomes phase three, lurking demons the moon falls and the demon waves come out just look at these guys piling up at blue's walls and this is only the first demon wave blue team was throwing everything they had at these demons the demons are coming i vote we kill like if we need food oh, 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 oh. Let's get inside get inside demons, i'm out of here you got like 10 souls. Hey, outside, 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 outside. Look outside. Yo, it's Yorochi! It's Yorochi! Yo, Yorochi, Yorochi. Yorochi, let me get one. Yorochi, what? Even the leader, Oweka, went down there to fight off the demon waves. Hey, which one? Which one? I got you. I got to go fight! I got Too many people, bro. I gotta go fight! I got you, people! Go, go, go! This is what I said I would do! Blue team had thought that Oweka died. Please, don't die on us, King! 
but in reality, he fled to heal up. These demons hit really, really hard. This is what I said I do. Ninth floor rank. Let's go, Luka died. Let's go, baby. Oh my God. They even had to whip out the sun breathing techniques. Now that's some heavy damage. Overall, besides one explosion though, and some of their members dying, their base held up pretty well. There's some Kappa demons that stuck into Blue's base. Just as I said, they were kind of holding their ground. Maybe I spoke a little too soon. They even brought out the lightning breathing. There were so many demons chasing them out. Oweka and Melo ended up dipping on their main team and created a mini faction. There was also a random red member being a bit weird and hanging out with the Blues. I don't really know what's going going on here after fleeing blue team's main base aweka ends up taking him and his gang to a little house in the swordsman village that they're calling their new home i guess we can call this thing the blue team migration and then after close to no time at all they ended up abandoning the house like some lifelong abandonment issues they went to the rooftops because they felt safe up there yo 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 yo, yo blue we gotta get on the roof bro. yeah oh, yeah Tell everybody on the roof. We're gonna die. everyone everyone yeah, get, on die. get on the roof everyone get on the roof everyone get on the roof at least a lot safer than they would be before the breathing powers of the swordsmen weaken at night which also caused them some debuffs who's alive we don't do we can't fight him bro we have to wait for daytime yeah, he did say a sacrifice it's sacrificial altar that we could sacrifice somebody Dude, sacrificial what we have to do yeah, dawid to. dawid have try to, to run against us anyway. oh we can sacrifice the red one so uh i guess i'll log their base or bases as four out of ten since one they're split and two they're struggling to even stand their ground on both houses then we go over to red teams who's been dealing with their own waves of demons just look at this snake demon these things are running their village down the hand demon also crawls out of the ground finding its first victim demolishing their build that they worked really hard on but the demon slayers fight back against the hand demons overall their base is the most versatile multiple buildings though some not are fully built they have a working community while blue team has two people making two separate bases just to make things worse here aweka gives me a proposal if he kills off one of his teammates and eats their body if he can turn into a demon hey what are the odds i can turn into a demon <laughs> you want to turn into a demon all right all right, all right, all right, all right. i have a proposition for your proposition all right what's it what is it i will agree to make you the thing you requested in exchange for one thing it could be you or it could be you and a couple other people i don't know that's up to you okay know. he wants to switch sides to demons basically and honestly i'm not opposed to it at all let's see what kind of victim he finds oweka says he's gonna find a partner and invade the red team take one of their members and eat them to become a demon so that he doesn't have to kill off someone on his own team guys 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 i'm back i'm back i'm back all right what, what happened what did you do all right all right all right we have to we for the night to end we have to go infiltrate red what wait what do you mean yo, 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 little does Melo know what he's signing up for Why? Where is Where is i don't know all right sword's showing us boys everyone let's roll out for some reason more of blue team ends up migrating over to the rooftop base guys what are you guys doing you know they build it up and thinks they can still win the build competition even though red already won sorry guys this is where they started building i doubt Jump they down into the water. Team blue team we're gonna we're gonna go uh, infiltrate red's base to make matters even worse some fish demons began to invade the village as well while they were there and they couldn't afford another blue team's base being demolished back to oweka and his rogue group of bandits hunting down a victim all right so I guess this will be a solo mission, me and you. Oh, All right, Melo, 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 come with me, come with me. We're going, we're going, me and you. Just, we're leaving our team. We're leaving our team to go here. What, bro, what? Trust me, trust me, trust me. Why are we, you guys don't have Why are we abandoning our people? This is what Red is dealing with right now. Not much better, but they're fixing up their rubble. There's even a van building thingy. That's pretty cool. Let's go see how Oweka manages to pull this off. Sacrificing one of the enemy's team members. Oh, there's still people over here. It's blue, it's blue though, it's blue. It needs to be red. I can't, I, yeah, I can't. No, they're over the mountain. Just eat, dude. I don't care yes. for five years. Uh, Just you eat. guys got this. Bye, we're leaving you. I don't really know where Melo is at this point. But he ended up with Okram and this other guy. Oweka managed to sneak into Red Team, but bam, a hand demon. But he ran past him. Uh, a thing, Yo, a thing is here. everyone, calm down. Hey, calm down, calm down. Where's you guys? Is Small Tactician, uh, Tician on your team? I am right here. I don't know. Um, Small I Tactician, uh, I have a. For, for the base building competition, the, you need to, for some reason, you're one of the judges, so you have to come judge our, our the blue base. Oh, uh, okay. Hello. All right, I come in this you. way. Oh, God. That's all it took? 
That little lie is all it took for Small Tactician to lower her guard and follow Oweka into her demise? Here it is. The house Oweka convinced Small Tactician to go into. He got it. He got it fair and square. One sacrifice for the ability to turn into a demon. He drank Muzan's blood and began to get a little hungry for humans. But what he failed to realize was that there was an achievement that he got when he became demon that presented in chat. So in Oweka's demon form, he has six arms and is being hunted down by the very people he was teamed with. Oh, oh, my God. Yo. Oh, I thought you died for us. What happened? Oh, got to kill Oweka now. Let me kill these guys. And there's his first victim. Another teammate was killed off. Oh, I'm bringing it in for a hug. Yeah, oh, aren't you a demon? Who else wants to bring it in for a hug? Yeah. Who else wants to bring it in for a hug? Oh, no. no. Come here. I didn't mean it. Hug. 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 Hi. And then Oweka decides to pay a visit to his team. Guys, guys, your king is back. Your king is back. Hey, 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 Trey. Hey, guys, guys, don't leave me. I need a team. Oh, hey, oh, hey Oweka. I'm back, I'm back. I know, wait, come down here. I want to, wait, come here, come here, come here. Cool, I got a cool weapon I want to give you guys. I got a, I got a weapon, Frank. Oh, damn. Oh. Shit, why you got several arms, bro? You want a hey, hug? Yo, chill, you chill, want chill, a chill. hug? You want a hug? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I have moon breathing. I can give you, I can trade Drop you. it, drop it right now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Can we make a trade? I need a sword at least. Yeah, it's really, it's really, it's really your sword for your life right now. Okay, okay, okay. Can I have something in exchange? Oh, okay. And after all of that, if you don't think that Oweka is getting a little bit power hungry, just take a look at Okram. He was literally teamed with him a bit ago. Hey, who's Okram? Next? Who's next, bro? Yeah, what's up? You hey, better chill. run, bro. You better run. Nah, nah, nah. You better run. I don't care that you're a Come demon. Me, Come at me, boy. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't care that he, he thought he was a demon, bro. I don't care. What the hell is that breathing? Remember Oweka's other ally, Mello? Well, he ends up chasing him, trying to confront Oweka. Oh, wait, someone's coming after you. Someone's chasing you. Wait, who? Oh my god, they have a whole team. No, Mello's gonna confront me! No, Mello's gonna confront me! Run! It's me! Mello, stand back! Why did you do this to us? <laughs> Why? I entrusted everything. Here's my crown! Here's my crown! Oh, Oweka, what? Mello, don't make me do this! Not everyone realized that he was the one killing off his own teammates. You'd think he'd go after Team Red, but we have ourselves a traitor. Not only did he kill Mello, he was now trying to revive him by sacrificing someone else's life for him. What the heck? Look, what are the odds? Is, like, okay, I need somebody to sacrifice themselves. Would you sacrifice yourself? Sacrifice myself for what? For Mello's revival. Mello's revival. Didn't you kill them? I mean, didn't you kill Mello? No. If you're the one who killed Mello, shouldn't you be the one to get sacrificed? I mean, he has a point. Instead of reviving Mello, he decided to recruit Zane's as his fellow demon brother by sharing some of his blood. What Oweka and Zane haven't been keeping track of is the time of day. It's almost daytime. Now, if you guys don't know, demons die during the sunlight. Let's just go kill everyone, bro. I'm done. I'm so done. Hey, the sun's rising. The sun's rising. Dude, get inside. Go inside. Wait, we gotta get inside. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, we're gonna die. Dude, we're actually gonna die. Yo. Dude, you know what the coolest part about being a demon, though, is no demons attack you. That is true. Now that it's morning, the demon slayers are called up for their first mission. Let's just hope it's not their last mission. They're to meet up at the entrance to the spider forest. As swordsmen gather up, ready to explore the spider forest, they decide to make a truce with Red Team, at least for now, since they'll need to get all hands they can get for this first mission. Though they were a little hesitant about the truce. That's not us, but it's kind of close to us. Dude, can we, uh, how bad is the sun? It, has, it hasn't started burning yet. We could, we could move, oh. Oh, it does, it does like two hearts. Oh, jeez. It, it does like two hearts per hit. That hurts, bro. So we actually just gotta stay inside. Dude, stay I'm not inside. taking damage. Is that... Maybe because you're Muzan. Are you Muzan? Mm. Uh, yeah, I may... I, I don't know. We're both... We both have his blood, though. So I don't know. I'm not burning. We're kind of in broad daylight, and they're all running around over there. Yeah, I don't want to get good. seen. So it seemed that the strand that they got gave them the ability to conquer the sun. That's great. But I believe that it's not forever. It's just for short durations of time. It also now means that the demons are on a hunt for lost swordsmen. Everyone here is stacked up, which soon begins phase four, the web disaster. In this phase, they were to complete mission one, which was to save the swordsmen stuck
stuck in the spider forest and kill off the Rui family, located both in the forest and within the hole, which we'll talk about in a bit. Melo ended up being revived by Oweka and Zanes through a sacrifice. The gang is now reunited. Well, Zane's the new addition, so it's not really a reunition for you get the point. But this is Team Demons. All three have become demons and are ready to hunt down the demon slayers in that spider forest once it opens up for the mission, of course. I really hope they're prepared not only for the things in there, but also the demons. Mission one begins now. The demon slayers crawl up the mountain like little itty bitty spiders. And this is the spider forest. Notable places here is the dead swordsman, the webbed house, and lastly, the hole. Yeah, that's right, the hole. A bit dramatic, but this is where the real deal stuff goes down. The strongest sword that you can get in the game can be obtained here. It's a pit filled with spider webs, demon spiders, the Rui family, and obviously the sword. Yeah, it's not an easy feat. It took the demon slayers almost all day and they still found nothing. Granted, it's a bit far away from where they first started, but Aweka's group have found more and more victims. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention here, there's also a house that had one of the Rui siblings there. Should I just be like the spy? Like, Yo, <laughs> guys, I was, I was joking, Let's guys. I, I love killing demons. I sure love I hate demons. demons. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. hear it, bro. They're coming. Okay, gotta keep moving. What up, my fellow demon slayer? Hello. Hello, what is going demons. on? What is going on? Uh, hello. Hey, I sure uh, love killing I demons. demons. Hey, hey. I, I love killing demons. Hey, no, 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 no. What Yo, Waka, Waka, the block's kind of getting a little hot. Uh, yeah. I think we rotate. Sorry. What's this? What the hell? We, what is that? Yo, you just revived Elmo, bro. There's no hope. Leave while you can. There's spiders everywhere. Oh, we killed them. Can we eat them? Oh, chill. You trying to eat a spider? What is wrong with you? No, no, it's a human. Oh, I mean, what? I love killing demons. I love killing oh. oh, I'm, I'm almost Whoa. died. I almost died. Bro's, bro's the panda uh, ordman. Oh, I got extra bro. Panda. Wait, are you a panda? Yeah, I'll take the helmet. And here we have the first person to find the house. Let's hope his life doesn't end going down here because it most likely will. Also, in the rare case that you don't believe me when I say this place is pretty chaotic, who's killing me? I think it wants to kill. Yeah, it's rough down here. The spider demons are gnawing at the demon slayer's knees. And more demon slayers arrive and search for the sword. The Rui family who lived down here was completely slaughtered. The sword is then gone. I didn't get to see who took it. Gotta keep our eyes out for who has the sword. But now there's hella demon slayers wandering around the spider forest, lost and pretty confused. Another detail I forgot to mention was there's actually two of these special swords down there, and only one has been stolen. The demon slayers head back into town, finishing and completing their first mission, which was to slay the Rui demons and rescue any of the other demon slayers that were basically knocked out. This is what I like to call phase five, the dark times. Their goal here is to be the last team standing. An all out war goes on between team red and team blue, since blue has a Weka in it, and a Weka has basically gone into the dark side because he's now a demon. And red saw blue as an enemy to all demon slayers and declared war on them. They began to hunt down the demon slayers, which sent fear down to everyone's spines, especially since it's still nighttime. Hey, close up, lock up the windows, block up the Yeah, guys, I'm not gonna lie. But, yeah, this life kind of sucks. What? This life sucks. Ha having to hide. To the having to hide. Sir, Bro. sir, sir, please. Sir, 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 this is private it's property. Our home. Sir, why, why this is our home. This private Dallas Oh. Bro, I'm so, wait, are we supposed to be chilling now, bro? Like that. I like your shoes, bro. Take them off. You got that um, emo guy? He's gonna want to show you. Yeah. Uh, the emo demon guy. Dude, I hate spider demons, uh, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, guys? Yeah. That was a, that was a weird looking carrot, Why bro. Why am I alive? Uh, yeah, it was. It was weird. What's the plan here, boys? Going up. Even Team Blue's sky base was not safe from the attack of the demons, but the demons made one mistake, underestimating the amount of demon slayers that would be up here. Get the hat, get the hat, get the hat. We got two gonna come on top. Kill him! We will kill them. The hat, the hat, the hat, the hat. This guy's weak, this guy's gotta be weak. Use the frame tiger, use the frame tiger. I am. Oh, it's Zane time! Oh, it's Zane. It's Zane time! Let's go! Kill him! Yo, Zane, 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 Zane. It's Zane. I know, I know, I know, I know. We gotta go. Dude, where's where's Melo, bro? Where's oh, Melo? Wait, if they stay out too long, they'll die from the sun. Melo, this way. Zane's this way, this way, this way, this way. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. This way! Kill him! Wait, is he in that house? Yeah, he is. He's in the house! He's stuck in the house! Oh, he's a 
the dragon so they can get uh, through, through the house. Minutes into war, Oweka was now the last, final, and only demon that remained amongst his team of three. And that kind of makes sense, seeing as everything he's gone through and the amount of humans he ate. It was all or nothing for Oweka. He had to flee, heal up, and escape the wrath of the demon slayers because he was quite outnumbered. This lasted a few days, and as the border shrank, Oweka tried killing off more and more of the demon slayers to get more powerful. Bro, bro, bro. He's on top of the house, guys. I see him. I see him. Come here. You know, you're not doing anything. Go, 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 go. Kill him. He has six in arms. He's not hard to spot. Kill him. How much health? Right at this moment was winning, having the most members still alive, but their focus was to eliminate Oweka before he keeps eating humans to make himself even stronger. Good strat on their part. At this point, no team is safe, but Oweka is killed off. Unfortunately, the demon's threat to the world is now weakened. Awid was the one who got the sword in the spider forest that was in the hole. And this is what the score was looking like. Three on blue team and five on red team. It's looking like a clear win for red team, but it really didn't help that two more blue team members are killed off, but they got two as well. How is this guy not low? <laughs> Why is there a werewolf? Is this a player? Yeah, it is. What the hell? I don't remember that being in Demon Slayer. The werewolf? Yeah. <laughs> what? Arr, arr, arr. Is that a dragon? This guy, I have my mark. There's no chance of you, you winning. I take no damage. There's no hope for you. Uh, damn. Oh okay. God, now it's a 1v3 against Red Team. Oh, no. There's only Clover left. This fight lasted for so long, going back and forth against this one guy on blue team. Then some mobs began to clutter the area, making the margin of error a lot bigger. Yo, this is actually insane. Oh, no, oh, oh, no dude. Nah, it's actually crazy. Let, let Clover get this on that. which led to blue team being fully eliminated, leaving Fuego's team, Team Red, the victor. They protected their home in honor and the swordsman. By the way, some of you guys don't realize that these civilization videos are telling a huge story. So check out my civilization playlist if you want to watch the rest of the series. Subscribe so I can pay my bills.